Alrighty guys, so here we are going up against Primal Groudon and as you can see right here it looks freaking sexy as fuck and it does have some desolate land if you guys don't know what that is it's eh, somewhat of a version of a uh, what was it what was it uh sunlight or something like that it's kind of like sunny day except water water type attacks have no effect against this guy none you try to use a water type attack bam just fizzles out so let's go right ahead and just destroy not destroy this guy cuz uh yeah kind of messed up on the last one right here and let's just beat this guy or do something so here we go let's mega evolve let's use it bam Our communicator let's go sage of the halo finally time to digivolve to mega sage and look at this tail look at that alrighty so mega septile right here doing the dual chop yeah, that's one that's a critical hit and another one right there two times and here comes that earthquake attack now just be aware that this Pokemon right here it is a powerful one it does have fire type moves as well and well I could use dual chop again so I'm gonna do it hopefully it will not make this guy faint come on there we go okay so that's two times and here comes that lava plume attack crap baskets on a crapsicle stick that one, not so powerful, because at this point, uh, Sceptile, it is a Dragon-type Pokemon, so, yeah, that won't really affect it very much. So I'm going to use a full restore on my Pokemon. Alrighty. Look at that. Sage of the Halo. Not getting affected, but here comes that uh, Lava Plume, which also powers up, or it is powered up by that... Uh, that what you might call it uh, effect desolate land so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and capture this guy I know I know but I'm gonna use some timer balls right here come on stay in the ball stay in the pokebola god dang it yeah this Pokemon is gonna be a uh, yeah oh wow he was gonna use his special move on me so you know what X scissor could do the trick right here bam and it doesn't make it faint and yes, I avoided his uh, most powerful attack, Precipitous uh, Blade or something, or Rock, or I don't know. It's a pretty good move. And look at that. He's on the red. And here comes a Lava Plume. And the name. Okay, the, the angle is not to make uh, Sage of the Halo faint right here. Kind of need to keep him healthy. Because it's probably one of the only Pokemon that can actually withstand its attacks and all that stuff. Well, I do have other Pokemon too, but. Sage right here, this is his moment. And Earthquake, not so effective right now. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy. Hopefully, it works out. Let's go with another Timo Ball right here. It is in a cave, so I could throw a Dust Ball too. Come on! One, two, come on! Three! No! You suck! Oh, God. And here comes its precipice blades, and oh shoot! Oh, that, that, that's that's scary. All right, now or never. Come on, let's go. Stay in the ball. Three times, three times. God dang it! One. Damn it! Okay, just rest yourself. God damn it! And here comes a uh, oh shoot, baskets and ah. Uh, Nearly fades! Okay. Ugh. Sage of the Halo is gonna have to like take some he's gonna have to tank some moves. Alright, so let's go with another full restore to our Pokemon right here. Alrighty, look at that. Back to normal. You will not destroy him. And here comes another one of these attacks right here. It's just super powerful. Love it, but it is like super powerful. Alright. We can do this. Come on, Timer Ball. Work for me. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. God damn it. Stay in the ball. Or rest. I don't know. I don't care. Earthquake attack. <sighs> God. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to heal my Pokemon one more time because I have a feeling this guy is going to just, like, try and destroy him with his precipice rocks or something. I don't know. And there we go. And here comes an earthquake attack. 
Not so effective right now because, yes, Sage of the Halo can tank that. So, let's go back. We're going to try another ball right here. We are inside a cave, so let's go ahead and use the Dust Ball. Come on. Stay in that ball. God dang it. Uh, damn it. And here comes its Persistence of Pisces. The Blade. Ah, oh, Jesus. That move is, is not very effective. Okay. Alright. Let's go with the Timer Ball right here. Now, I do have a Master Ball, but I kind of don't want to use it. I don't think I, I have the need to capture it with the Master Ball. There we go. Three. Three. Come on, stay in there. Yes! Yes! Suck it, Groudon. Throwing out that peace sign. That's right. That is right. I captured that Groudon. Suck a lemon, guys. Suck a lemon. Look at this Pokemon right here. A beastly Groudon has been captured. The Continent Pokemon stands at 11 feet 6 inches. 2,094 pounds of pure freaking muscle. Groudon is said to be the personification of land itself. Legends tell of its many clashes against Kyogre as each sought to gain power over nature. Alrighty. Should I give it a nickname? No, I'm not going to give this guy a nickname. This guy is just like, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a tank. I'm, go I'm going to use him on the last gym badge, guys. Don't, like, you think I'm lying? I'm going to use him. Just him. Destroying everybody. And, oh crap, something's going on right here. I gotta get the heck out of here. And after that... Holy crap on a craftical stick. That? That was freaking cool. Oh my god. Whew. Well, something big just happened right here, guys. You may not realize it, but something big has happened. Those sparkles right there? It's the beginning of a new era right now, or a new chapter in this game. Oh my god, and hey, look, it's Wally! I'm back, baby. Draven! It's really, it's really over, isn't it? Draven, we owe you a great thanks. Look above you. The sky over Sutopolis has returned to normal. Somehow, it seems so warm. Is the energy that has, that had been amassed deep within the cave of origin now flowing out? to pour over the greater world. It's as if the uncertainty and fear from moments ago never even existed. My heart feels like it's been softly set at ease. The sea or the land. Pokemon or humanity. All this time, we've been trying to grab onto a happiness for one of them. Even if it meant destroying the other. Look at how things have turned out. Now the world's got its natural balance back. We've got to rethink this thing from the very start. we got to redo everything we've done from scratch and get it right this time. What'd you say, Maxi? <laughs> I suppose you may be right. However, personally, in my case, some wrongs cannot be atoned for. No matter how, how, uh, how you try to right them. And I have committed wrongs so great as to bring the whole world to its knees. It may be that I... It may be too much to, to assume that I should deserve the chance to start anything over. 
leader. Without a doubt, you have committed an offense that can, can never be forgiven. You have wronged not only Team Magma, but all living things on the on this planet. But all living things, oh wait, wait, all living things on this planet, whether great or small. However, that is precisely why you must now set things right. You must continue to atone for the sins that you committed, even at the risk of your own life. To set to set right the wrongs you've done without running away in fear. Isn't that how an adult accepts responsibility? Should you find the resolve to do so inside yourself, then I, Team Magma Admin Tabitha, that's a girl's name, I will serve at your side as counsel forever. Tabitha. Thank you. You know... Some days we, or someday we adults are going to have to f uh, hand this world off to a little scamp and the rest of its generation. But what kind of world are adults going to make? What kind of world are we going to pass to these kids? If we haven't even figured out ourselves, we're never going to uh, get anywhere. So are we going to make a world where everybody can coexist together? Or, after all, it's going to be a world that we claim by force. One that we fight and scrabble over. I don't know, but I think we can at least start by giving, to, uh, giving it some time and thinking it over. All of us can do that, whether we're Team Aqua or Team Magma or whatever. Oh damn. You were able to use the blue orb to great effect, so I imagine you will be able to, uh, to handle this. Have Groudon hold it, and you will be able to control its primal reversion for at least a short period, such as during a battle. Throwing out the peace sign, red orb is ours. Suck on that. And that's it. And that's it for me. Little, later, little scamp. Farewell. Oh damn. Okay, alrighty. Inner monologue. Team Magma and Aqua are made up of people of completely opposing ideals and goals, but perhaps they can even learn to meet halfway. One small concession at a time. I know it's too much to expect that every everything will change at once, but I hope this crisis might at least help them uh, take the fir first vital step forward. I imagine that many changes are happening now all across Hoenn. I hope you will be able to travel this world and see its richness with your own eyes. And revel in its newness in your own heart. But... For the present, you may first wish to challenge the city's Pokemon Gym. There you will find the very same Wallace who helped us so much waiting for you. He's strong. But the way you uh, you are now, you should you should be capable of battling him in an equal footing. And when you travel the world, you should try to use this. This flute is one of my favorite items. Bam! Say goodbye to Fly! We got the Eon Flute. Okay, this Eon Flute is proof that the bond between you and your Latios, no matter how far may you may be from one another, play that flute and Latios will shoot, surely fly straight to you. Then it, it can make it uh, make it to the sky soaring above the land with you astride in its back. Yes, just like that when you first encountered Latios and Latios at Southern Island. People, Pokemon, nature itself. Our survival in this world depends on all of us living together in harmony. I feel like I have just uh, begun to understand that. And I'm wondering how the world will continue to change from this point on. It fills me with an inex inexplicable excitement. Draven, as you and your Pokemon live and grow in this changed world, I wonder what, it, what effect it will uh, have on you. What will you uh, think about? What ideals will you believe in? Cookies. That's what I believe in. If we do get to uh, get the chance to meet again, I hope you will be able to show me and my team the answers you found. Until then. God damn. Look at that. And whew, finally, it's just the two of us again. That's right, baby. I knew you wanted me. I've got to say, thanks for everything you've done for our region, Draven. You know, I thought we were supposed to have set out from Little Root together, but... But you, Draven, it seems like you just keep getting further and further ahead of me. 
I haven't started to feel like you'd gone somewhere that I can't even reach. It's pretty lonely, you know. You know, when I'm with you, it's never lonely, baby. Not. <laughs> She's blushing. She wants me. What would you think if I really said something like that? <laughs> Anyways, you did something really amazing today, so try and take it easy for a while. See you later. Look at that. Okay. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. So, that is that for this little uh, debacle that we had. And we got a few things that we need to take care of. And I'm going to take care of them right now, guys. So, first thing is first. If you go right here, you will, be, you will be able to find something a little interesting. Yes, guys, you'll find another Mega Stone. And this one is the Sable Knight. Yeah, buddy, the Sable Knight. For your Sable Eye, which I think I have, I don't know. And no, I will not be needing another repel. So, uh, yeah, so that's taken care of. And, well, hold on just a sec. Just a tick. There's a guy right here. Talk to him. Oh, you there, youngin! You're the one who saved Sutabless. No, you're the one who saved all of Hoenn. Of all things, I really, I really must thank you most sincerely. I swear I will, uh, I will live what time I have left in this life to its fullest, thanks to you. And he doesn't give us anything. I thought he was going to give us something. You know, it's always nice to get free shit from people. For saving their lives and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. We can go to the gym now. It, uh, which is actually the next thing that on our list right there. And, well, let's see. This guy must be there for a reason. Uh, you don't have to say anything. I know. Suitopolis saved. All thanks to you. Thank you very much. Okay, so he doesn't give us anything. So, uh, first thing is first, guys. I want to show you what will happen when you use the Eon Flute. And then we're going to go back to Lil Root because there is a little something that is waiting for us over there. Well, actually, two or three things. I don't even know. So, let's go right ahead and surf because I have a feeling that somebody might be waiting for us somewhere. And I, I need to use a repel, too. Uh, let's see. Go there, the repel. You gotta love this adventure because Draven is kicking ass, kicking names. Training Pokemon, destroying everybody. That's right. And, well, nobody's there. And, well, let's see. Nothing's right here. Well, whatever. Well, nevertheless, it's whatever. Okay, so first thing is first, guys. Now that we got the Eon Flute, there is no need for Fly anymore because the Eon Flute pretty much takes care of that. So we're going to register this little bastard. And we're going to be using it to go back home. So let's... Where the hell is it? Crap baskets, hold on. Alright, so we gotta unregister one one thing right here. So, super rod, good rod. You know what? Actually, you know what? The dowsing machine doesn't need... I don't really need it anymore. So, let's go back to the Eon flute right here. And register. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and fly on. So, bam. Bam, look at that. And, well, you can take all this as a mega evolution as well, guys. So, as you can see, now, now that you completed the whole Groudon thing, you will be seeing some sparkly areas right here. Some little sparkles. Little sparkles right here. This is the Nameless Cavern, which is holding a legendary Pokemon right there, which we will be getting to eventually sometime along the road. That one right there, too, is, well, the, pain, the Pathless Plain. And... From time to time, whenever you uh, whenever you use the internet and all that stuff, guys, you will be able to actually find some new uh, new areas right here. Press the B button, and bam. So now, a whole bunch of new Pokemon have been appearing, and, well, let's go right ahead. Look, I'm just showing you guys right now. Look at that. This one right here is, what is it? The Mirage Island. So these are Mirage Islands that you will be able to find eventually. And, of course, they'll be holding different kinds of Pokemon that you probably will not want to miss out on. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight back home. And here we are, Little Root Town. We're back home, baby. Okay, look at that. I'm back, baby. Okay, alrighty. So... Now that we're in Little Root Town, we did see something of uh, great importance, and it's right here. 
The next Mega Stone, Mewtwo or Mewtwo Knight X, which you could use for a Mewtwo. It's pretty awesome. Now go in straight to the uh, Pokemon Center right here and talk to Professor Birch or whatever his name is. Welcome back, Draven. You must be tired after all uh, your recent exploits. May has uh, has been keeping up updated about all of the grand adventures around Hoenn. After hearing all that you've been up to, there is something I'd definitely like to share with you. The fact of the matter is that after you resolved a kerfuffle with a super ancient Pokemon, of a number of Pokemon never before recorded in the Hoenn region have began to appear all over. Those Pokemon are precisely the subject of my long, or my many long years of research. They are Pokemon which are thought to have resided in Hoenn thousands of years ago. We'll finally be able to meet Pokemon never before seen, the very Pokemon I've pursued all these years. I'm so excited I feel like I'm uh, about to burst. So excited that I went right ahead and upgraded the Pokedex to be ready for all of them. Now, let me upgrade your Pokedex while you're here. And look at that, we get the National Dex. You'll now find National, uh, National Pokedex on your Pokedex menu, so use it well. It is a being suggested that Hoenn is now more hospitable to Pokemon after the incident in the Sutopolis. However, that does not necessarily mean the environment has become any more hospitable to humanity, people, Pokemon, and nature. The balance between these three great ecosystems has shifted greatly. I can't wait for you to start exploring a new world! Explo exploration may help us learn how the best to... Or wait, 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 wait. May help us learn how best to coexist with Pokemon from the time forward. I hope you'll find yourself answers to the great question as you continue your journey in your Pokedex. Alrighty, so what he means now is that all them Pokemon that we've had in our system, they are now official. As you can see in the Pokedex right here, this is the Hoenn Dex, and I've seen practically every single one of them. And then if I sort them out, let's see. Now, if I go all the way up, let's see, actually, that's the wrong one. This is the Hoenn Dex right there. Let's go to the National Dex. And as you can see, we got plenty of Pokemon to go locate and all that stuff. We have quite a few Pokemon that, you know, will be used and everything as you can see si uh, Cyndaquil, Totodile, those Pokemon are on our uh, on our decks right now we got the shiny Noctowl that we've uh, you know we traded for so off screen I believe off screen after defeating uh, what's his name Wallace I will start the process of uh, you know filling up my Pokedex to its fullest that way you know we finish off this whole walkthrough the way we wanted it to Kicking ass and Aaron taking names and all that stuff. So, yeah, buddy, we had a very good adventure. Very good episode right here. And I hope you guys liked it. I will see you guys in the next episode when we take on Wallace. Trust me, guys, you will not want to miss this one. See you guys. <laughs>